What do I mean by, by naivety? If this thing will blow over soon, we'll be able to get this solved. Uh, very few people saw it last time, as long as it did. We soon learned. There was a bitterness um, amongst uh, what we would call the Sinn Féin followers, uh, people who are within the nationalist community but were anti-SDLP. Our posters were taken down frequently. Uh, we were physically attacked as we went round on canvas on some occasions. In the 73 assembly election, I was given the quarter down with all of its problems. And in, in those circumstances, when you were on, on your own, and, and when I was canvassing first, I was on my own. It was harrowing in one way. Eventually, I got people uh, to come with me. And I forever indebted to them. My life was, was threatened and I felt it wasn't fair to my family. My children were very young then. But it did frighten me. My, my, my youngest son, every day, he would, would lie down on his tummy looking under the car and say, Daddy, there's no bombs today. John was getting threats from the Loyalists, but so were ordinary run-of-the-mill members of the SDLP. I remember in October 1993, Terry Tracy's son in Belfast had been shot. And the only reason really was he was in the SDLP. In was especially difficult when it was discovered that John was speaking to Jerry Adams. And, um, all hell broke loose. He was vilified from one end of Ireland to the other end of Ireland. He, he just wasn't able to sleep. He wasn't eating properly. There were, you know, all sorts of vicious letters arriving in the post, vicious phone calls coming. I remember when the Shankill bomb happened, which was in October 93, that nearly killed him. I was going to go over at that time but I knew there was a lot of extreme anger, understandably so, on the Shankar Road. On the Sunday morning, the bomb was on the Saturday, Sunday morning, I went with my wife to the, the matter and saw a lot of the injured. But as I left the matter, I said to Sally, I'm MP for West Belfast. I'm not a card. I'm going to go on to the Shankar. I know there's going to be ang anger there. But as we drove up, it was a prayer meeting taking place for the, for the dead. And there was no booing or anything like that. And two councillors, uh, unionist councillors, came over and shook hands with me and brought me over to, to speak to the minister, who was very, very friendly. What happened the day before, of course, was absolutely horrific. I was a wee bit shaken by it, but having said all of that, I was glad that I went. Grace Steele actually, in a funny sort of a way, helped a bit in that the girl who talked about being at her father's coffin the previous night, um, she said to John, we prayed for you, we prayed that those peace talks will reach fruition, please continue with them. And that was the first encouragement that he had got, really. Um, to continue with the talks. And this was from somebody who had suffered intensely. The SDLP has a tremendous history and has a history that we can be fully proud of. The SDLP is a party of civil rights, a party of partnership uh, government, a party that is totally opposed to violence and demonstrated that time and time again.